will of the Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But I've been in church a long time. Glory. I see a whole lot of stuff. I know that's right. And none of it was God. All right. So I'm not moving right. by faith. Yes. Psalms 127. And you don't have to turn it. Because you are here. Amen. It says, except the Lord build a house. Yes. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. That is the name of this ministry. Except the Lord build a house. I was like, wow, that is really awesome. Yes. So that's why the house is still standing. Because the Lord built the house. Yes. That's just my oath. It's not my message. Go ahead. In case all of y'all wonder why it's named what it's named. Amen. The Lord built it. The Lord will keep it. Amen. 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 Look, don't y'all make me work hard. Because if my work get hard, then somebody's not going to get what they need. Go ahead. Amen. But I did want to start with saying that. Jesus. This woman of God that I know in the spirit, Jesus. the Holy Spirit told me the price has been paid. Jesus. Jesus. He said the price has been paid by you. He said the same way that he paid it, you paid it. So I'm going to say this to you, Jesus. woman of God. Jesus. When I was praying last week, I got the word last week. He said, the price has been paid. Amen. But he said, you have been in the box. Jesus. The alabaster box. So I asked the praise and worship. Do y'all know this song? I like, mm. But when I looked it up, it said the alabaster box is a hard white stone found in Palestine. And it was used in Solomon's temple. It houses precious perfume oils. It is an ointment that is kept in this box. And the box is so secure that only at certain times will the oil be released to the people. He said, this is your season that your oil is getting ready to be released to the people. I see. Oh, you know what I hear. Yes, 
Mm -hmm. ready to go. Oh, that's that's right. You get one more call from New York, you gonna go this time. Oh. Oh. Oh.
lead. That's right. We got one leader. Right. Everybody else is following. Amen. 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 One leader. Yes. Everybody else follows. Amen. 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 My, my, my. Verse 35. For whosoever will save his life will do what? But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the name shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? See, there are some things today we give in exchange for our soul. Because you know, the soul is the area that needs some work. Amen. See, the spirit is always willing, but the flesh is a little mess. Come on, Amen. Uh huh. All right. What will you give in exchange? Do you have anything today that you would swap out for your oh. salvation? Oh. All right, and Joe leaves you tonight. Are you going to go with him or are you going to stay with God? What will you give in exchange for your son? John chapter 12. The price has been paid. The price has been paid. Jesus paid it once and we'll never have to have anybody else to pay it again. Amen. Thank you. Amen. John chapter 12. Yeah. Verse 23. Are we there? Amen. And Jesus answered them saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. It abideth alone. But if it die, it bring forth much fruit. I'm going to stop right there. See, we always trying to live and God is saying we need to die. There's a lot of stuff we have going on that we need to put under the blood and don't bring it back out. See, before this woman of God could be glorified by the Father, she had to pay a price. Something in her had to die that she probably wanted to live, but God said that thing got to die. See, today we all are dealing with some stuff in us that we need to lay it at the altar and never bring it back up again. See, I heard a lot of testimonies in here, but the Holy Spirit was speaking while people were speaking. There's some stuff in us that needs to die. Oh yeah, amen. Something needs to die. Yes, yes, yes. 
See, when you walk into the church and just because we the apostle, you think everybody got to move back and let you in, that means something in me need to die. Oh, yeah. See, you can go through 
for a long time. Yeah. And it looks like you're not going to have nothing. Yeah. Take that right yeah. And people count you out. Yeah. And they look at you and say, look at how keep going to church. Still ain't got yeah. nothing. But there's a day coming yeah. that I'm going to get a reward. Before I leave, I'm going to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I got a 
word from the spirit realm. See, don't count her out yet. Don't count her out yet. Because I'm on assignment. I came to stir up something in the spirit here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Wherever you are all from in this territory. God said a price must be paid. And somebody in here is getting ready to pay it. I got one more scripture. Y'all, y'all. Can y'all give me about two more minutes? Two more minutes. Acts chapter 16. My Lord. Something is shifting. Church, you come from, but something get ready to shift right now. Yeah, hashaba, hashuka. I want you to receive a supernatural anointing that everywhere your feet stretch. Somebody put you in. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh